Well, here's the cover of ASCE 710, and uh, it came out in May of last year. And for those of you that have a copy, the first thing you'll notice is that it's most definitely thicker than ASCE 705. And let's go ahead and take a um, non-technical view of what's different between ASCE 705 and 10. You can see that the number of pages has gone up from 388 to 608. And um, part of that can be explained by new provisions, and part can be explained by a longer commentary. And then part of it can also be explained by a larger font. As you flip through the pages, you'll see the larger font. Um, in, in past editions, black bars are used in the margin to indicate where a revision has occurred. Now, in the case of ASCE 710, the wind design chapters, yes, that's plural, have been expanded and relocated uh, to the back, and there are no black bars used for the wind chapters because they've been completely reorganized. Um, something new in ASCE 710 are the user notes. They've been added to various places in the standard as a user-friendly feature so that uh, you can understand the provisions better. And the commentary has been expanded quite a bit and has, like I indicated, added to the length of the standard. Um, and the bars are not used in the commentary to indicate the changes. But we would encourage you to take advantage of that new expanded commentary. Now, um, this is a snapshot from our website where we post all errata for the different various codes. And because ASCE 710 was placed on a compressed schedule, uh, things were rushed. And you will find more errata for this publication than you would normally expect. So we wanted to dedicate one slide to mentioning the errata and where you can find it. Um, and uh, we would suggest that you get a red pen and make those um, revisions in your ASCE 710. We've included a slide of the 2000 12 IBC for a couple of reasons. First, to indicate that uh, this is the code that references ASCE 710. It's not the 2009 IBC. Uh, the 2009 IBC, just like the 2006 IBC, references ASCE 705. And we found this to be confusing for some ASCE. Um, well, we find this to be confusing for some that have purchased ASCE 710 because um, it was actually published prior to the 2009 IBC's effects, effective date in many states. We also want to make you aware that the 2012 IBC is actually available, which is the first time the IBC has come out so early, basically a full year earlier than what we're used to. Now what we're going to be doing um, today is we're going to be going through each chapter in ASCE 710 and highlighting any major changes. And we'll start here with chapter 1. The first change that we see <clears throat> in chapter 1 is that we have a new provision that specifically allows performance-based design to be used. And <clears throat> this has not been something specifically addressed in the code in the, in the past. And you'll find the provisions for performance-based design in section 1.3. And let me draw your attention to this sentence in section 1.3.1. That's really a motherhood and apple pie kind of statement. But it first says that buildings shall be designed and constructed with adequate strength and stiffness. And then in section 1.3.1, it says that that Acceptable strength stiffness shall be demonstrated by using strength design, allowable stress design, or subject to the approval of the authority having jurisdiction, the performance-based procedures of section 1.3.1.3. So this is all new in ASCE 710. And the uh, section also states that you can use alternative procedures for different parts of the structure. So. That means that you can uh, use uh, performance-based design for a portion of the structure and, let's say, strength design for another portion of the structure. 
Now, with this slide and the next slide, we address what's required if performance-based design is going to be used. And first, it must be uh, reliability-based. Second, um, the reliability needs to be demonstrated um, by analysis and or testing. And then consideration needs to be given to uncertainties in loading and resistance. There are some documentation requirements um, in ASCE 705 for performance-based design that you can read there. Also, a peer review um, is necessary, and there are some pretty specific requirements for the qualifications of the peer review team and what the peer review needs to address.